Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Good day. You are welcome to Fission Mobile e-learning class. My name is Bolaji. I'm here to teach on the subject mathematics and the topic is quadratic equation using factorization method. Earlier on, we discussed uh, the meaning of quadratic equations and we've really explained how we can solve them by using three methods. But here we want to center on the factorization method. Factorization method involves expansions or expansion of brackets which involve with the use of quadratic equations the expression will be expanded using brackets expanding of the brackets will enable us to know the factors of the product of the numbers that is the factors of the product of the constant term then we now use it, we now expand the products of the factors for example let me show you what i try to clarify from my sentence factorize factorize 2x square plus 3x plus 1 2x square plus 3x plus 1 this is the quadratic equations because our power of x squared, our power of x is 2, and our coefficient of x squared is 2, and our constant term is plus 1. So this is the quadratic equation. Then how do we factorize this quadratic equation? The first step we need to use is that we multiply this, the coefficient of x squared, with the constant term here. Then we factorize it, we look for the factor that will replace plus 3x. Let us do it. First step. Two x square times one, which will give us two x square. We multiply two x square times one. It gives us two x square. Now what are the factors of two x square that will replace plus 3x? The factor that will satisfy 2x squared and it will replace plus 3x. Now these are the factors. Plus 2x and x which is equal to plus 2x plus x which give us plus 3x. That is plus 2x times x, which give us plus 2x squared. The product of <coughs> the product of plus 2x times x give us plus 2x squared, which has satisfied this this uh, 2x squared. And the factors, the factors of 2x squared are 2 plus x plus 2x and x. And their, pro and their addition, that is their sum, is plus 2x plus x is equal to plus 3x. For plus 2x times x will give us plus 2x squared. We also have other factors like minus 2x times minus x, which will give us plus 2x squared. These are the products, the factors of the product of 2x squared. But the sum, what about the, the sum? The sum which will give us minus 2x minus x will give us minus 3x. These two factors are shown that it gives us plus 2x squared in their product. But in their sum, we have minus 2x minus minus 2x minus x which gives us minus 3x. So it cannot replace plus 3x. Therefore, once this factor that we use plus 2x and x 
is equal to plus 2x plus x, which gives us plus 3x, can replace plus 3x in this equation. The next step, which is the second step, is that we now do grouping. What do I mean by grouping? Because plus, plus 2x squared has been replaced plus plus 2x plus x. Replace, replace plus 3x with plus 2x plus x. In the equation, therefore, 2x squared plus 2x plus x minus plus 1 is not the equations because we have replaced plus 2x plus x with plus 3x. The next step, what I said is by grouping it because we can group it into two in the sense that we have a common, common thing between 2x squared plus 2x. There is common either x and 2. Here we still have plus x plus 1. Then the next step is what I said grouping. Therefore, 2x squared plus 2x plus x plus 1 is now the equation. Therefore, group the expression above 2x squared plus 2x then x plus 1. We have grouped the equation now. Now we cannot expand the brackets. What do I mean? How do I expand the bracket? Is by looking for the common factors or numbers or letters that are common between 2x squared plus 2x squared plus 2x and x plus 1. Now, what is common between 2x squared and plus 2x? We have that 2 is common, then x is common bracket into x plus 1. Here we have plus 1 bracket into x plus 1. Now these expressions, we have expanded the expressions. If we want to get back this equation, 2x, 2 times, 2x times x will give us 2x squared. 2x times plus 1 will give us 2x plus 2x. Here plus 1 times x will give us x plus 1 times plus 1 will give us plus 1. So these expressions has given us a clue of how we can expand this bracket by using factorization method. The, last, the next step is by us copying the factors that we have gotten, that is 2x plus 1 and then copy one of the factors inside the bracket. 2x plus 1 plus x plus 1. So this is the factor that we have gotten. 2x plus 1 bracket x plus 1. This is the expression. We can now continue by equating equal to 0, the 2 of them, that is 2x plus 1 equal to 0, then x plus 1 equal to 0. Then 2x is equal to minus 1, then x is equal to minus 1. x is equal to minus 1, and 2x equal to minus 1. Divide both sides by 2. We have 2. 2 here 1, 2 here 1. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 and minus half. The follow of our x in this quadratic equations using factorization method is x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 1 over 2. With this, I know that you understood the method of factorization of quadratic equations. Good, I am happy because you saw this question correctly. If you still have a shady mindset about this factorization method, I would like you to rewind back so as to get the clarity of this factorization method. Let me proceed by showing you another examples on how to solve this 
uh, a quadratic equation with factorization method. Again, let's consider this example. Let's consider this example. Factorize three y square plus seven y minus six. Factorize three y square plus seven y minus six. Solution. Let's use this uh, method of factorization for this equation. Solution, 3y squared times minus 6 will give us minus 18y squared. We've gotten that this is, the coefficient of y squared is 3. We multiply it by minus 6. This is our constant term. In quadratic equation, this is called a constant term. And this 3y squared, we multiply it by this and get this. So now, the next step is that we find the product, the factors of minus 18y squared to replace minus plus 7y. That is, find the factor of minus 18y squared to replace plus 7y. What are the factors of minus 18y? The factors of minus 18y are plus 3y and plus 6y. Minus 3y and minus 6y. We also have other factor plus 9y and minus 2y. Plus 2y and minus 9y. These are the factors of minus 18y squared. Now, after which you are finding the factors, we have to, because this is the product, we have to find the addition, the sum of the factors. Sum of the factors that could replace plus 7y. How do we find it? Plus 3y plus 6y will give us plus 9y. Minus 3y plus minus 6y will give us minus 9y. Plus 9y minus plus minus 2y will give us plus 7y. Minus 2y plus minus 9y will give us minus 11y. Therefore, when we look at the factor that could satisfy the replacement of plus 7y is plus 9y and minus 2y. Plus 9y plus bracket minus 2y will give us plus will give us plus 7y. Therefore, this is the factor that will replace plus 7y. Let us now replace the value. y square plus 9y minus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0. So we cannot replace it. 3y square plus 9y minus 2y minus 6 equal to 0. Therefore, the next step is grouping this equation. Grouping. 3y squared plus 9y minus 2, 2y minus 6 is equal to 0. What is common between this? We know that 3 is common, y is also common. So we have 3y back into y plus 3 bracket minus what is common between this? We all know that is 2 bracket into 2, that is 3y, bracket into 2y plus 3, equal to 0. That is between 2y and minus 6, 2 is common between them. Now, why do I have plus 3y? Is because minus 2y, minus 2, times plus 3 will give us minus 6, which has satisfied the equation, which is absolutely correct. 
minus 2 times y, which you give us minus 2y. Therefore, 3y minus 2 is equal to 0. y plus 3 is equal to 0. Absolutely correct. 3y is equal to 2, equal to 0. Then y equal to minus 3. If y is equal to minus 3, then the other y, which is 3y, equal to 2. Divide both sides by 3. We now have 3 here 1, 3 here 1. Therefore, y is equal to minus 3 and 2 over 3. y is equal to minus 3 and 2 over 3. You can see how simplified this factorization method is. I've given you a few examples on how to solve this equation. I am convinced that you can solve this question the more as we proceed. Let me give you this evaluation once more to still see how you can get the equation right by using factorization method. Wow! I'm happy because you have gotten the answer right. If you still have any shady mind over this uh, factorization method, I would like you to rewind back and look at the way we have solved it earlier.